Hello everyone, I'm Chesswork44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 3. Last episode, we basically did a bit of exploration around here. Helped out some Empire troops, killed a couple guards who saw Teresa for the first time, panicked and attacked us. Yeah, I really think bringing a slith out here, out onto the surface was a terrible idea. And we got two towns here to look around. Probably small, so let's take a look around them. Yes, get used to the... There's slimes out here. Sounds like they're killing them, though. We're not getting any experience for it. But at least it's... You know. At least they're keeping the town safe. I don't know where the slimes are. But, yeah. You meet a grizzled sailor, complete with tattoos, scars, and earrings. You introduce yourself and ask his name. My name ain't none of your business! Are you employed? The sailor spits and utters several un very uncouth words. I'm waiting for a berth! I'd appreciate cleaner language. The sailor responds with a brief, highly sincere monologue which contains a number of intriguing words. Being adventurers, you're not delicate hothouse flowers, but the sailor's language makes your ears burn. Having any luck finding a berth? Nope. With all the monsters, ain't many ships going around. Pretty stupid if you ask me. Why is that stupid? Yeah! I mean, the only place no monsters is going out is on the water. Best place to be! None of those furking, blinking, blinking monsters have the blanks to follow a Marver Porber out there! This short speech is punctuated with several inappropriate words which have been replaced with gibberish to keep from offending anyone. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I, I just like that line. <laughs> there are several inappropriate words that we replace so nobody gets offended. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Alright, let me leave the horses here. Alright, let's start down here. Pick the lock. Looks like someone's house. Nothing of use. So these are probably all houses out here. This house has been abandoned for some time. Dust covers every surface and there are thick sticky spider webs everywhere. Goody. So are we gonna Yep, there's spiders. Somehow I am not surprised. Well at least we got some coins. How are they not mine? The house was abandoned! They don't belong to anyone if the house was abandoned, so... Ugh. I don't know. Pick the lock. Ooh, coins. Mine. And in here. Oh! More slimes. Well, they're dead. You're welcome, whoever lives here. Oh, didn't mean to get on that. Eh, what the hell, let's leave him in the middle of town here. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's take a look in the end. Oh, a couple people in here. That guy doesn't want to talk. A priest with a large sword sits at the bar, drinking prodigious quantities of grog. She turns as you approach, and you can see the booze hasn't affected her in the slightest. Hail to you, I'm Glidden. I'm captain here. What's your job here? I'm the captain in Dallas. She eyes you carefully. Been here for five years since I served in the Avernum campaign. What was the Avernum campaign like for you? It was a long, bloody business. I got nothing against the worms, it's nothing personal. But I'll get any one of them who messes with my boys. She watches you carefully as she says this. No doubt she suspects your Avernites if she isn't sure already. You send out many patrols? I have to in these times, what with all the filth running around. They're good lads, out day after day wiping out slimes, and anyone else who gets in their way, if you catch my meaning. What else do you want, friends? Don't go causing trouble and we ain't got no problems. Well, we helped out one of your patrols that got jumped by slimes. Well, never thought I'd see the day one of my troops was saved by an Avernite. You have my gratitude, friends, and if you're fighting the slimes with us, I have a bit of advice for you. What advice do you have for us? West of Crizzan on the south shore, we've seen this tower that is slimes looking for brigands. That's right, slimes actually enslaved to brigands. Someone should check that out, they might learn something interesting. Okay then. Uh, what are your responsibilities, Captain? 
I send up at the patrols here, and I keep an eye on what ha all happens in town. Plus, sometimes I gotta do priest stuff. I spent a lot of years as a holy soldier. What is a holy soldier? Me. A priest who is good with weapons and is a real asset in a fight, blessing and swinging. I did a lot of fighting and a lot of healing. I can do the healing part for you if you need it, but it'll cost. How goes the battle against the slimes? Badly. My soldiers are out everywhere, hunting for the foul creatures. We kill fifty and they kill one of us, and we come out the worst for it. What sort of town is Dallas? This is the big seaport for stuff being shipped to and from the north. Sometimes I think there's more than just shipping going on. What else besides shipping is going on? She shakes her head. Not my job, don't know nothing about it. Okay, then. The town's innkeeper is very warty. He doesn't look like he enjoys his job, and he certainly isn't impressed with you. I'm Carol, what do you want? That depends, what do you have? Well, I got a captain's room open for five coins. I got grog for three coins around. You're just lucky I'm serving landlubbers. You call this landlubbers? Yeah, what of it? There's always been a town that lives by shipping, but with all the monsters, no boats are going anywhere, so we gotta serve people who don't make as honest livings. <laughs> well, you don't have to like it. What do you consider an honest living? On the sea! That's the place for a man, not in dungeons and lairs like some sort of scavenging worm. What monsters are you having problems with? You know, the slimes, roaches, all that. Where you been, Avernum? Of course, you may not know, there's been a whole lot less problems with the slimes lately. Uh, no, Avernum, we've never been there. He nods, relieved. I hope not. I'd hoped you'd just look as pale and sick as a fish belly by choice. Now what do you want? I just can't stand here all day. Mmm, <clears throat> yes. We are not from Avernum, we're just very, very ill. Wow, that is a... That is a lock. Hmm. Nothing in there. Okay, I guess we're not going in there. And this is... Provisioner. Right. And this is... Another Mary. So do we have anything to sell? No. Okay, moving on. This looks like a barracks. Nothing in there. Nothing in there we can take. And in here... Someone else. Oh, another sailor. I think it's pretty much all... Hold on. There is a Nephil with all the markings and necklaces of a shaman sitting at the desk. He's writing with a quill pen held awkwardly in his right hand. His left hand is just the stump. I'm called Claw. It's not often that I see a Nephil around here. What's your job? It makes a low rumbling sound deep in its throat. I run this flop. I was a sailor. Can anyone stay here? There are only rooms for sailors. It scrapes idly at the desktop with its claw. Why did you become a sailor? I am not welcome with my people. It makes a brief, angry hissing noise as it says this. I went to the sea where a shark surprised me. He holds up his stump. Now I run this flop and look after my feathers. His speech is unusually good for a Nephil. Why didn't your people follow you? Welcome you. Nephilim beliefs are Nephilim secrets. We do have a Nephilim in our party, but okay then. Who are your fellows? Sailors are my fellows now. Sailors of all types. Get many interesting types of people staying here? It makes an annoyed hissing noise. You ask too much, human land person. Are Nephilim allowed in Empire Towns? I'm looking right at another Nephilim in an Empire Town. So I guess you're pretty dim. Okay. What is this place? It is a flop. Sailors can sleep here while waiting for another birth. That means sailors are welcome here. Unlike you. Okay then. We will... We get the picture. We'll shut up and go away. And looks like there's nothing else in here. Pretty small town. Alright, let's, uh, let's head to the town to the north. Purgies. Right. That's done. Take a look around the outside, as I always do.
can't go around the north side, so let's go around the south side. Okay. Nothing. And random slimes. Should have expected it. Get back here, you! Thank you. At least the slimes die easily. As I've probably said a couple times before. When you pass through the gate, you are immediately afflicted by a cloud of dust. It assails your eyes and lungs, gets caught in your armor, and makes the inside of your mouth taste like mud. Piles of ore are scattered everywhere, and the air is gray. Welcome to Purges, mining capital of Kristan Province. I can hardly wait to leave. She doesn't want to talk, it seems. Okay. Take the lock. Disarm the trap. Huh. Disarm the trap. Haste potion. Well, it's something. Don't need any of the rest. Little trash pit over there. Another trap. Would be nice to get some experience from disarming traps, but you can't have it. Ooh, strength elixir. Nice. And a nice fur. We can sell that. Alright, let's see. Provisioner? Provisioner. As I kind of expected. Looks like this is the inn over here. So let's go take a look. Oh, there's a kid. You think that this girl might be about ten. However, she's so covered by grime and ore dust that she could also be from any age from four to sixteen. Hi, I'm Susie. What are you doing? I'm looking for slimes. Isn't that dangerous? They're big and nasty and when I see when I yell so the guards can kill them. Don't you get frightened of the slimes? Nah, I want to be a big adventure and go to Avernum. Why did you pick Avernum? I hear there are weird pale people and big evil monsters down there, and I can fight them and get treasure. Then what would you do with the treasure? Be rich and famous. So then you'll be happy? Yeah, then I can go to bed whenever I want. She squats on the ground and picks at a scab on her knee, ref reflectively pondering this wondrous fate. You mean pale like us? Yeah! A lot like you. Better be careful, people might think you're from Avernum and are big monsters and stuff. There are a lot of monsters in Avernum. Monsters are bad. Okay then. Be well, little chid. Little kid. Why did I say chid? What the hell is a chid? The bar is being tended by a large and vigorous woman in a black leather jerkin. She has dirty blonde hair and a tanned face. I'm Ilsa. Care for a drink? What can I get at this inn? We have the standard inn fare. Beer is two coins and a room is eight. Room's expensive, but very, very nice. And not much worry about slimes. Why do you charge so much? We can only we only have two rooms, after all. Have to make what money off them we can. Do you have much of a slime problem? She looks very worried. There aren't many of them out here, thank heavens, but they're coming. Mark my words. Hope something's done about it soon. I'm worried sick about my daughter. Who's your daughter? Her name's Susie. She'll be around here somewhere, that little tomboy. I just hope if she sees a slime, she has a sense to run instead of throwing rocks at her or trying to make it a pet or some insane thing like that. Well, she is kind of looking for them. You might want to talk to her about it. Oh. A man with dark skin and an intense expression sits at the table reading a prayer book. He seems strangely unconcerned that you just barged into his room. He wears ominous blood-red robes. Welcome, pilgrims. I am simply called Paulo. So why are you staying at this inn? I am a humble priest, wandering the lands and spreading my teachings. For now, I have found this village a pleasant place to stay. So you're just a humble priest. Sometimes it is a struggle to be humble, considering the foolishness and idiocy I must encounter every day. But I manage. Would you care to teach us? His, ma his face beams. Ah, you wish to take the path to enlightenment? Are you more interested in philosophy or magic? Magic, please. I know several simple rituals which may easily be adapted to the workings of your faith. Alas, I need to eat. I will require a small fee should you wish to purchase my knowledge. Well, they're very cheap. Much cheaper than the Temple of Divine Lucre. Let's get the healing spell. That's all I really need right now. The rest... I'll improve them some other time if we have more coin. So why are you staying at this inn? Yeah, okay. 
Okay. Philosophy sounds intriguing. I teach the divinely inspired philosophy of divine independence. What is divine independence? We have been given by our creators the greatest gift of all. The ability to act as independent creatures. This has a much ignored accompanying responsibility, however. The responsibility to remain independent. Those who lose their independence are parasites. One should only take from others as part of a fair trade. So you don't care about the sick, poor, or young, then? Let's just say that the other churches are perfectly free to saddle themselves with the poor and crippled. We take only those who can help us, and who want the divine freedom to not help others. Okay, I can see the reasoning behind it. It's very self-serving in a way. But I can see why someone would think about it. I mean, the whole independence thing. But at the same time, sometimes people just need help. Believe me, I know how hard it is to ask for help. What sorts of fair trades? He thinks for a bit. Fair trades take all forms. For example, I recently tried to obtain a package of herbs for my art. Parasites took my herbs from me in a crude theft. Perhaps we can recover your stolen package of herbs? Dallas is the home to all manner of pirate scum. I know for a fact that one of them took the package of herbs from a ship coming from the north and that it's hidden in a back room in the inn there. I'd reward well as someone who brought that package to me. Just be careful, those parasites protect their own. What, uh, what do you li why do you like this village? Perges is pleasant and far from most of the monsters that afflict Valorum. I plan to stay here for some time. Alas, not all in this area are entirely savory. What area did you find most in savory? The village of Delis to the south is a rather immoral place, for example. In fact, some people there, and I consider them only barely human, committed the theft of a package of my herbs. As we know. Oh, we have the quest for that, but I'm really not sure about doing it. Why is he running around outside his shop? The reason being, from what I remember, that quest, when you complete it, or at least when you decide to... This is a storeroom for processed ore. Crates and barrels of charred rock wait to be dealt with, awaiting a fiery end in one of the smelters. When you take the package, it sets off an alarm that turns the entire town hostile. Which is not good. You basically piss off an entire town for one guy. I don't remember the reward being particularly worth it. I mean, sure, it's a small town with not much there. But still, I don't want to piss off towns. That's Mary again. That looks like it's the forge, which makes sense. Another storeroom. Don't think we need to take anything from there. And this looks like the barracks, basically. Ooh, a couple coins. Mine and mine. Okay, then. That is good. Alright. In fact, you know what? I'll just show you. Because I do remember where it's located, and I do remember that I believe in order to get in, you need to go through a hidden passage. Actually, you know what? Let me leave the horses back, back in, uh back in Purgies, just to be safe, because otherwise I don't think I'm really going to get them back. But yeah, here, I'll show you. Now, if I remember right, there should be a secret passage in here. Oh, we can't even get to it. Okay, fine then. I guess I'm not going to show you now. But yeah, you can't really do it unless you set the entire town pissed at you. Not a good thing. This is clearly an area that relies heavily on mining. You have found a carefully dug tunnel into the earth, shored up by thick, heavy pillars and guarded by two nasty-looking soldiers. Do you enter? Sure. You wander into the mine and are soon roughly escorted out again. Claim jumpers are a common hazard out here in these harsh lands, and nobody is taking the chance of fraternizing with strangers. Okay. Not far inside the mine entrance, you find a small foundry. Rich iron ore from the mine below is brought up and processed in small batches using small but intensely hot magical fires. You don't stand around for long before a mage approaches you, flanked by two massive guards. The mage says, 
I am Rago. Greetings. Do you come for good or ill? You explain you were just exploring, and he relaxes. Well, I'm afraid we can't let you stay. We're very busy, and you'll get in the way. However, before you go, I should mention that we make excellent iron here at a fraction of the normal cost. We can give you a great deal if you are interested. Are you? Iron, lead, tin, silver. Very impressive. And torch, hammer, pincers, and tongs. Nothing we need, but very nice. Also, sounds like it's nighttime. And can't go in there. Okay. And this basically goes around the other side of the mountains. Let's take a look up here. Can't get up there. You see some large cave lizards, the sort that lives in parts of Avernum. Somehow, this group has escaped onto the surface. You could prevent the surface dwellers from having to deal with them. Sure! Why not? Kill the giant lizards! Slaughter them all! And there we go. You're welcome! This old stone bridge looks like it was hurriedly built and then left behind when it outlived its usefulness. It's still safe to cross. Barely. Hmm. Not much around here. There's a large patch of comfrey growing on the riverbank. Fresh comfrey roots can be used in the making of healing potions, and you think that you can dig up some useful ones. Healing herbs. Excellent. Very useful. I forgot we have that nice fur. Okay. Oh, by the way, in case you're one, in case you're wondering how we get up onto that ledge, there is a way. I'll not say how now, but there's a way. You'll see eventually. Maybe a while, but you'll see eventually. And there we go. Right, back down here we go. And... You know what? Let's take care of the guards. We'll take care of the uh, bandits over here. We'll look around the north side of everything after we've dealt with it. Alright. Right, hello, guards. A band of brigands guards this narrow bit of hills between the mountains and the shore. When they see you, they immediately move to block the path. As you get closer, you notice something very odd. The brigands have several of the brightly colored slimes writhing and sliding among their feet. However, the slimes don't attack them. In fact, the bandits and slimes seem to be guarding the path together. Attack! Brigands, Amber, and Ocher slimes. Wait to get a bit closer, and you take care of some of those slimes. Haha! -ha! You brigands, you think you can stop me? We are way too strong for you. And they didn't even drop anything worth taking. Yeesh. Right, now the other group. Three brigands and archer, amber and ocher slimes. Excuse me. And a casting of ice lances. There we go. Ooh, the archer actually survived. It's pretty impressive. There we go. Oi, get back here, you! Can you smite him? You can. Nice. Oh, there's some iron studded armor. Can take that. And nothing else we need here. And that leads into the tower that was mentioned. All right, let me go sell this stuff, and... Oh boy, another short episode. I uh, may as well. <sighs> Bit of a bother, really. Okay, sell that, and sell that. There we go. All right. Well, I think I'm probably going to have to end this episode here. Next episode, we'll take a look in the uh, bandit tower here. See what we can take care of here and how many we can kill. Let me just get back the one point. There we go. That'll be in the next episode. So until then, I am Trustic44. That is Carl Nepor, Pollux, and Teresa. This has been an Avernum 3 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.